we think of living things as having a need to find food and metabolize it. Viruses don't have to find food. They don't have to metabolize food. When a virus is not in a host, it's basically an inanimate object. They're just a piece of RNA or DNA surrounded by some proteins sitting in the environment, not doing anything. Unlike living things that are clearly alive, you can put them in a refrigerator as long as you like. In fact, they do very well at low temperature. You warm them up, they will diffuse around the way a little speck of dust would diffuse in an air current until they can be reproduced again in the right host. Viruses are parasites and they require hosts to survive. If they happen to end up in my lungs, they know what to do. The virus, starting just as a few molecules, hijacks, takes over, they recruit proteins that were present in the cell, they activate cellular processes, they steal energy, they get the host cell to provide the food and energy needed to make copies of them. It's the goal of the virus, always. The virus survives better than we do because it evolves faster. It goes through more generations very quickly and makes more mistakes each time copying its genetic information. One copy of the viral genome gets into a host cell. Within hours, thousands of copies of it can be made from one copy. Viruses are simpler by far than any other living thing. You can make an infectious virus particle from purified components. The virus particle that causes these ugly insidious diseases is a beautiful object. It has higher symmetry than any other thing in nature. It has icosahedral symmetry, which means uh, it has a certain number of axes that have five-fold symmetry about them, a certain number of axes that have three-fold and two-fold symmetry and so on. I think viruses will always be here, but we will have increasingly quicker and more effective treatments. We are only starting to understand the immune system and how it deals with viruses, and that's a very active area of research. And so I don't think we'll ever be rid of viruses, but in terms of whether we will be able to prevent diseases or prevent viruses from getting to us from other species, there's a lot of hope for that.